What's up guys, Miranda here. Are you guys ready for some Dollar Tree movie trades? Because I know I am. I did several. I'm still waiting on a couple because I have no idea what the heck is going on with the post office or anything, you guys. But lately, like, media mail has been taking a little bit longer to get here than usual. Normally when I send or have received stuff via media mail, it gets here like the day of or like the day before. But a lot of these packages, they end up in Seattle before they come to me. And, um... Like, yeah, it's so weird. I'm only like three, three and a half hours away from Seattle. I literally had a package say that it left Seattle a certain day and like five days later it showed up here at my house. So I have no idea what the dealio is with the post office right now. They kind of suck, but hey, um, I we'll see if they show up. I don't know. <laughs> so anywho, I have four trades right here that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Again, all Dollar Tree titles. I sent them stuff. They sent me things back. Um, it's just really nice to be able to like help each other out when you're trying to find these movie titles and stuff like that. So I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for trading with me. So first up, you guys, I have a package here for my buddy Nubs. Um, he's a new friend, you guys. Um, I'm not going to give out his actual name because I don't know that he would want to, that to be shared. But he goes by Nubs, you guys. Um, so I am very excited um, to have traded with him. So let's see what I got from him. So first up, this was actually one that looked pretty decent, and it does have, um, I mean, a pretty decent cast. You got Paul Giamatti, Mini Driver, Dustin Hoffman, and a few other people, but this is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Barney's version. Um, this was one, I don't really know much about it, but I went ahead and I looked it up, and it looked pretty decent to me. Um, was of my interest so I went ahead and picked that one up from him then you guys we have bad boys so I was um pretty excited for this one bad boys this is like a classic you guys I've seen one I've seen two I haven't seen number three yet but I, then again I haven't really heard many great things about it just wasn't the same supposedly but we got bad boys here um, this one I actually got the DVD of, but when I saw that they had the Blu-ray uh, Damascus cover, I went ahead and scooped up the Blu-ray from him and, you know, the DVD, I'll just like send it to family or whatever, set it aside for them. And then one DVD here um, was another one that looked pretty decent, and I mostly got it because it has Maya Rudolph in it, and it's called Away We Go. I haven't heard of it. I do like this artwork, though. I love it, how it's kind of almost like a... Um, I don't know, just like the background of it. Like, you know, it's like it's drawn and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. And I love how it's kind of like they're kind of like black and white. And then there's just like that pop of color there. So it looked pretty decent. So I'm looking forward to watching this. So thank you so much, Nubs, for trading with me. I appreciate it. All right, my next package comes from John. He is actually a supporter of many of us Dollar Tree haulers, movie haulers out there. Um, and he, you know, reached out to me and so we did a little trade as well. So let me go ahead and share with you guys what he sent me. So shout out to you, John. Appreciate you trading with me. So he did send me a box here. Um, we traded a couple things and then he even threw in an extra for me that he said that I might like. So the first thing though, you guys, which I am actually really excited about, I've never really been much into this show, but it is CSI Miami seasons one through three. And this thing is like, it's heavy and you can hear you guys. It's like, yeah. <laughs> So I know there's like so many CSI shows out there. I don't know. I think there's like New York, Chicago. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on that. But I know that there's several different like cities and there's like regular CSI and stuff. But I mean, seasons one through three, I thought that was awesome, you guys. Like I said, this thing is like massive. It's really heavy. This is an awesome find, you guys, to find at Dollar Tree. That's crazy. But yeah, so I'm actually looking forward to watching this. Like I said, I... I'm more into like Blue Bloods and Criminal Minds. So I've seen some of like regular CSI, but this will be nice to just kind of binge watch one of these days. So CSI Miami. This one right here is the one that he threw in. I have not seen it, never heard of it, but you do have Ron Perlman and that is 13 Sins. So he thought I might like this one. So he just included this for me. So I'm looking forward to watching this because I do like Ron Perlman films. Is there anybody else in here that I recognize? Um, let's see, the Mark Webber doesn't look like it. 
actually this dude. I don't know his name, but he looks pretty familiar. So. He looks like one of the guys that may have been in like the Freddy movies or something like that. I don't know. But 13 Sins. Then we have a couple more here. This was one that I was hoping to find and I never did. It looked like a decent watch and that is Dark Was the Night. It is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack here and it does have the slip cover and I like when it actually matches. So I'm looking forward to watching that. And then this one is freaking awesome, you guys. Now I know there was another um, like Puppet Master set out there and I think it had some other, it was like Puppet Master and something else. I don't know if it was the same as this, but this one, this is awesome, you guys. This is Puppet Master one through nine and then Killjoy one through three. So it's a 12 movie collection and that's insane. That's such an awesome find. I wanna say I've seen at least the first couple Puppet Masters. I don't know that I've actually ever watched Killjoy. I remember like the title and everything, but I don't know if I ever actually got around to watching these, but I know I've seen at least the first two maybe three puppet master movies so i am so so looking forward to this you guys look at that and it shows you on the bottom like the pictures of like all the movies and stuff like that so that is insanely cool so that's what i got from john thank you so much all right next up uh these next movies come from my buddy hammer um i recently did a haul from him you guys um i mean aside from dollar tree he does lots of like you know pawn shop thrifting and I don't know what all else he does but he finds some really amazing titles and he does lots of reselling you guys um, so I will leave his channel and his Instagram linked down below so you guys can hit him up show him some love um, just let him know that I sent you um, but right off the bat so he always includes like one of these little uh, quote thingies in his uh, packages you guys so this one says I just like to smile uh, smiling's my favorite and it's from elf it just says, thanks for the trade. So I appreciate you trading for me and finding these movies for me. Um, so this was one that I was kind of interested in. Uh, I heard kind of mixed reviews on it. I don't know much about it, but it has Jason Bateman and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack and that is Bad Words. I'd never heard of this until I'd seen it being hauled. So I'm curious to watch that. This next one, it's been a while since I've actually seen this. And that is Be Cool. <laughs> I love this like artwork. I love, I just, I love the colors. It's like so fun. But yes, we have Be Cool and like a phenomenal cast. That's all I can say, you guys. So I, I'll be glad to revisit this because like I said, it's been so, so long since I've actually seen this. I love Christina Milian. I mean, Vince Vaughn, The Rock, just everybody is insanely awesome you guys so I'm looking forward to revisiting that and then this was actually one that I was hoping to find last wave and I never did but I heard tons of great things about it and that is Incident in a Ghost Land looks like a very decent movie well, that's kind of creepy looking what the heck I have no idea what's going on right there but you can see they look at the eyes I don't know kind of creepy but yeah true evil never dies so it, it looks like a really good watch so I'm looking forward to that so thank you so much, Hammer, for picking those up for me. I hope you enjoy your movies too. All right, and then the last trade I'm gonna be sharing with you guys comes from my buddy James. Y'all hear me rave about him. He's awesome, you guys. Go show him some love on his channel. He always shares his Dollar Tree finds. And again, he's always up for trades. He has a ton, a ton of extras. If there's anything you're looking for, he's probably your guy. So um, my trade with him is fairly big. So let's just get right into it. So first up, you guys, this one, he, he was actually at Dollar Tree at the time, and he just sent me a bunch of photos of, um, you know, what they had. And I saw this, and I'm like, heck yeah, I want that. And this is Nick Cannon, Mr. Showbiz. So it's actually, like, one of his, like, stand-up shows. I've been a huge fan of Nick Cannon since I was a kid, like, since I can remember. I like his music. I like his movies and stuff. And, um, yeah, and what now? He's, like, the owner of Nickelodeon, so <laughs> pretty cool. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to watching this. This is his first ever comedy special. And I've never seen this. I've never seen any of his like stand-up comedies. So definitely looking forward to watching this. Next up, we have Piranha on Blu-ray. This is the first one, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I hauled the whatever it was, Piranha 3DD last wave. I know a bunch of people found 
Piranha, the first one, uh, with that really awesome slippy case, which that would have been so nice to find. That was so dope, that slippy. But yeah, um, so yeah, Piranha, which I haven't seen Piranha in a really long time. Um, and I know my brother likes these movies too, so he'll probably want to watch that as well. This was one that i seen some people hauling. It looked like a good movie. You got Steve Carell and uh, Kira Knightley. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And that is Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Interesting title. I don't know much about this, but, you know, it sparked my interest. And that's what counts, right? <laughs> Anything that looks interesting, just pick it up, you know? I mean, it's only a buck, so, I mean, if you end up not liking it, then, hey, it's only a dollar. Donate it. Sell it. Send it to somebody. I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we have a Jason Statham film. And it's a Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. Um, and that is Blitz. This is actually, like, really heavy. So, I love Jason Statham films. I haven't seen this one, though. So, this will be nice to watch. I don't know how great of a film it is. Like, it's, like I said, it's not one that I've heard about. So, um, we'll see. Next up, we have Anthony Hopkins in The Right. It says, inspired by true events. I have not seen this one, but I do love a good, you know, like, horror thriller movie. Then this one, I had actually picked up the Blu-ray itself, but I wanted this mostly for the slippy case, you guys. So we have The Amazing Spider-Man number two. I didn't really care for this one. I know my son, he loves like all the Spider-Man movies. Like he don't care who it is, you know. Uh, we have all of the first three. And then I think we have the first one of this. I can't remember if we do or not. But um, yeah, and he wants all the other ones like Homecoming and Far From Home, all of that. So um, he's huge on Spider-Man. So this is mostly for him. But I did want this for the slippy case because it's really cool looking. So yeah. And the other one I just gave to my brother. So <laughs> got that then this one i heard some really great reviews on and i'm very excited to watch and it's an interesting title for sure the collector's edition of hobo with a shotgun <laughs> the slippy is kind of cool like this part here i don't know what you guys call it like embossed or something like you can see kind of well it's probably not gonna pick it up on camera but like the image it's like raised so yeah let's see does it match though I hate when they do the stupid barcode sticker like stuck to the thing. So yeah, same. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Very interesting title. <laughs> um, this one I really wanted to see and that is Michael Jackson, The Life of an Icon on Blu-ray. This will be a fun watch for sure. I mean, who do who doesn't love Michael Jackson, you know? His music was phenomenal, is phenomenal, I should say. Um, then we have Adam Sandler in Jack and Jill. I've only seen this movie, I think, like once. I remember being really funny. I'm a huge Adam Sandler fan, so this will be nice to revisit again. Some good laughs out of that. Um, this one, I wasn't really sure about, but um, he recommended it, so I went ahead and picked it up. And it actually has cow pen in it, and that is the girl in the photographs. I've heard some pretty okay reviews about it, so I mean, I'm looking forward to watching this one. This next one is awesome. I I still wish I could have found Third Rock from the Sun because that was one of my favorite shows growing up. But we have that 70s show. And actually, to be honest, this was never one of those shows that I was really into. I mean, yeah, I watched episodes here and there. But um, this is the season three of that 70s show. So, I mean, this will be, you know, a fun watch. One of these days just to binge watch. Um, like I said, it wasn't like my favorite, you know, show back in the day. But um, it was decent. So, looking forward to that. This one I thought was funny. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he picked it up, and it is in Spanish, though, you guys. So, you got the episodes 32 to 63, and there's no editing in this, so that's good. Um, and this is volume two of La Reina del Sur. So, this was actually a Mexican soap opera, you guys, but it is kind of based on a true story. It's about this, like, woman, uh, she was, like, a famous woman, drug lord, kind of, you know, 
deal going on there. Um, in season two, I actually never watched it. I mean, I used to watch like Spanish soap operas and all that kind of stuff, but never this one because this was actually on Telemundo and I've never watched any, I don't think I've ever watched any soap operas from Telemundo, always Univision or Televisa. Um, so yeah, La Reina del Sur with Kate del Castillo. <laughs> That's insane to find this at Dollar Tree. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know when I'll be watching this, but uh, I mean, I vaguely remember watching maybe a couple episodes just for the heck of it. But like I said, it is pretty much based on the story of this, you know, her Teresa Mendoza. I think she's actually a different name in real life. They like changed her name or whatever, but like it's pretty much based on her story. Then we have, which I thought this was also really cool. I love Sabrina growing up. Um, I really actually want to buy the whole like, you know, series. But we have Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the Christmas episodes. So you get all the Christmas themed episodes. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see how many are in here. So it looks like there's six episodes in here. So I mean, it's still, I mean, Christmas theme. This would be fun to probably watch around like Christmas time and stuff. But um, definitely a pretty cool find. Um, there's a couple in here that I had him pick up that is for my kiddos. So this one is Monster High Scaremester Collection. <laughs> Which I, you know, my girls, they like Monster High and stuff. You get 18 episodes in here. So they're probably going to freak when they see this. And they are going to love this. <laughs> So actually, let me show you the back. So, yeah. Then, though his, oh, I didn't even realize that. That's cool. So this is actually um, a show that was on PBS Kids. Um, it's like Channel 10 here in Oregon or something. That's where they had like, you know, Arthur and what other shows was on there? I don't even remember. I watched a whole bunch of them when I was a kid. Right now they have like Curious George, those kind of shows. Um, this is Sid the Science Kid, Rock and Roll Easter. Looks like this, but the front of it is actually a puzzle, you guys. So there's a puzzle and then you have like the actual movie like behind it. So it is like an actual movie, I guess. It's not, it's only 45 minutes. So yeah, it's like a little mini movie. His voice is kind of annoying, I will say, but it's actually a pretty cute cartoon. I've watched it even without my kids. So, um, yeah, Sid the Science Kid, you guys. Rock and Roll Easter. And the last one in the box, you guys. I have not seen either one of these, but hey, I mean, werewolves. Got Werewolf of London and She-Wolf of London. Double feature. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to watching these because I mean who doesn't love werewolves right so thank you James for trading with me yet again always appreciate you picking up titles for me and stuff so uh yeah you guys thank you so much for the trades and hopefully my other ones get here soon um like I said I have no idea what's going on with the post office right now uh, I don't know but yeah you guys thanks so much for watching join the family if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video bye guys